name's Sarah. I run and own the franchises for Cook Stars in Newport to Ebervale and in Monmouthshire in South Wales. Um, and I'm delighted that I'm going to be cooking tasty parcels with you today. So this is a really versatile recipe um, and one that you can use a variety of ingredients uh, in your store cupboard. Today I'm going to do a vegetarian version. So my ingredients that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using courgette, carrot, some pepper, a little bit of sweet corn and some cheddar cheese. I'm also going to be using um, green pesto. So this is, uh, you can use any kind of um, sort of pesto, but I, I like this one um, and I have it in my store cupboard. So if you haven't got pesto, don't worry about it. You can use um, cream cheese or you can use a bit of uh, tomato puree as well. So first things we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is grate our cheese. So the cheese is around about um, 100, uh, 30 grams of cheese. Um, I'm using cheddar. I like to use a mature cheddar just for the taste. You can use a red Leicester or blue cheese, red, anything really, but um, I like cheddar and I've got a lot of cheddar in the fridge, so it was easy for me to use this. So you're just grating it. And once you've grated it, I'm going to uh, just put that into this bowl here. Reason being, is I'm going to use this grater for putting everything else in, say for washing up. So next thing I'm going to break is the courgette. So it's around 25 grams of courgette, but you don't have to be precious on any amounts of um, what filling we're using. So around about, about three, four inches of courgette. Now because courgette is very, very soft, it will take a short amount of time to actually grate. So we'll grate this in. If you haven't got one of these graters, just use a normal um, flat grater and put all the ingredients in a bowl to give it a bit of a mix. So if you've got small children doing this, a good tip is to actually use the end of a courgette because then they'll have a little bit to grip on. So that's all ready. Next ingredient we're going to grate is our carrot. So obviously the carrot is a little bit uh, tougher. Again, we're going to use about three, four centimetres of um, carrot. I always cut it a little bit more than I need, so again, for safety. So, those are the carrot and the courgette in our bowl. I'm now going to add a spoonful to all of that things I like sweet corn of sweet corn. So as you can see, we've got some really nice colours in there already. And to add to that, I'm going to chop up around about an eighth, not very much, of pepper. So you want to chop this quite small. The reason we're grating everything rather than chopping it today is because um, this all these ingredients will go in to the um, parcel and the parcel only takes about 15 minutes to, to cook so you want them fairly small so they cook, cook nicely. So once that's chopped up, add that to your mix. So now you've got your courgette, your sweet corn, a little bit of carrot, and a little bit of pepper and then I, what you could do if you wanted to make um, a bit with meat you could put a bit of ham in there as well anything goes with this one so we're also going to be using some puff pastry now I always use uh, ready rolled puff pastry I just find it a lot easier to work with and you're going to be using a third of the amount that comes in the actual sheet you can also get it in blocks, and in that case, you would be using about 125 grams of puff pastry. I wouldn't try making it if I were you, uh, even Mary Rowe doesn't make puff pastry, she always buys it. So, what you want to do, you want to be rolling it, not widthways, but lengthways. 
So you want to be making this into around about the size of an A4 sheet of paper. So it's not that much rolling, but you just need to get it a little bit thinner than it already is. So it cooks nice and evenly and you get a crisp outside. The beauty of using uh, ready rolls as well is that you get a bit of uh, baking paper so it doesn't stick onto your board. So there we go. That's around probably another third in size, as you can see. So the next thing we're going to do, we're just going to cut that lengthways down the middle so you have two portions. Once you've cut that, it's now time to add your pesto or your tomato puree or cream cheese, whatever you're using as that flavour base. Around about a teaspoon on each and just make sure it's smoothed onto the pastry. You want to be leaving around about half a centimetre gap all the way around, just so when we fold it, the filling doesn't squidge out. So that is, oops, nearly lost it then. That is the two done for you there. We've now just simply got to add our filling. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put some cheese onto each side but just in the top half, you don't want it, the fillings to be in the, the bottom half because we're going to pull that over shortly. So once you put your cheese on, now's the time to add your fillings to both sides. Now this will pile up high and that's fine because courgette in particular, when it cooks, it will reduce down anyway. And then we just need to put a little bit of cheese on the top of each one. And now is the time we've got to do our parcels. So, the easiest way to do this is from the side that's closest to you, pull it over on both sides. So you're making an envelope and then just fold and pinch the two sides together because what you're doing is making sure that none of this lovely filling pops out while it's cooking. So that's one. And here's the other one. Now you could also make triangles as well if you wanted to. I've also made them into sort of dumpling shapes as well. Doesn't really matter. But for ease, the square ones are easier. There we go. So that is our parcel all finished. We're going to pop that just onto a baking tray. Tray. Now, you need to put that in the oven, and it's quite a hot oven, around 200 um, degrees fan for about 12 to 15 minutes. I would check at 12 minutes. It would need to be a lovely golden brown. And I've made a couple earlier, so you can have a look. So these were in the oven for 15 minutes. As you can see, quite a nice size. If I cut one in half for you. There you can see all the lovely filling. Absolutely, it smells absolutely delicious. Now these freeze really well as well. So you can make a few, just wrap them in either some um, baking powder, or baking powder, baking um, sheet, or some um, silver foil, pop them in the uh, freezer, and they, they freeze really well and uh, you can use those as you want to. So I hope you enjoyed this um, Tasty Parcels um, and I hope you're all very safe and well 
and hope to see you soon. Happy cooking! Bye bye!